Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome to a game called Mech City Brawl. Uh, this one's been out for a few months, but as you know, I gotta save up to get certain things, and I'm always trying to add just maybe one new game for the channel each month. So uh, this month it's gonna be Mech City Brawl. Um, it actually wasn't a thing that I established with a new game each month, but I, I think it might actually work out. Uh, so we're gonna go with training and practice some moves real quick. It's like kind of a mech battle fighter. Uh, I'm sure you've seen a lot of videos of it online already. Um, but as you know, uh, it could be pretty, go uh, pretty good. We could try it out. Oh my goodness, he's a little... He's, I was looking forward to him. He's literally a TV robot. It's basically... Um, uh, what, what would I equate it to? And I'm sorry I'm being so loud. Uh, kind of like... Uh, you ever saw the old Godzilla Saves the World games? Kind of like a giant mech battle like that. Vintage. Oh, is that his uh, skin color? Pilot seats one, two, three, four. Oh, my friends? Oh, goodness. No, I am controlling this all by myself. Vintage, huh? Is that his name? That, that I think that's his name. That's awesome. Ready. Rando. Bhutan, Russia. Lunar base. Oh, dude. Morocco, Norway, Egypt, United States, Japan. Uh, Brazil, Mexico, or Mexico, for those of you. Uh, Lunar Base. Awesome. I wanted to try out a new game today because I was supposed to make a... Either, um... Ooh. Either, um, the Rust Robo Channel News, or another episode of Wartech Fighters, or Robot Arena 2. Which I would have enjoyed any one of those, but... I feel like keeping things different and changing them as often as possible... Well, not as often as possible, but every now and again keeps me interested in the content that I'm making so that I don't get discouraged. Because I lose faith in my ability to make entertaining content all the time. Hmm, punches. Punches are the top trigger buttons. Overheat, okay, we can overheat apparently. Punch the rocks. But then again, I, I suppose I should try to complete the tutorial as quickly as possible and explain what I'm doing. Let's move over here, move over here and see what this does. Can I grab it? And those are apparently my kicks and a teleport. How do I grab this though? Okay, so we got jump. Should I do I grab it? Oh, there's block. Press maybe try start. Nope, nope, that's resume. Whoopsie. Uh how do I grab items? Or do I grab it at all? Oop, I found out. It's the uh D-pad. Uh right on the D-pad. Now how do I throw it? Right again? Yes. <laughs> Not very much of a toss, but okay. I can land and, and, and toss it again. Huh? Okay, can I charge up the toss? Nope, apparently it just tosses. That looks like a something that would explode, like a bomb. Mayhaps I need to actually hit something with it. And there's a definitely a spear. That is a spear. This seriously, that's gotta be a bomb, right? Apparently at the top is my HP, at the bottom is my boost, and uh, I guess some sort of special of those blue bars there. Boom! <laughs> How often can I do that? Pretty good. Pretty often I can do that. Okay, what do I do next? But well, yeah. Hey, it does explode, sort of. Kind of. Okay, uh, let's pick this up. Okay, that's how you basically drop it, is the other pad. What's down? Nothing? Up? Nothing. Awesome. Let's see if I throw this like a spear. Ooh, maybe I need to throw it there. Nope. Hey, no, no. Oh, now he just drops it. Oh, duh, it's a melee weapon. It's not like the bomb that you throw. That's neat. And that's power, energy. Oh, it's a continuous boost. That's what it is. You collect that and it gives you continuous boost for a little while. Uh, it doesn't get me very high, though. Hiya! Hiya! Still got that. Oh, nope, overheat. Drop the weapon! Ooh, that's interesting. Did dropping the weapon actually help me um, reduce overheat sooner? Hello, Bazooka. You are my friend. <laughs> Actually, this looks more like a Gatling gun the way he's uh, holding it. Are there any particular targets I'm supposed to hit since this is a training mode? Well then, let's go for these. Uh, whoa, sweet Jiminy! <laughs> that is not a Gatling gun. That is a cannon. 
Boom! Oh my god, I'm gonna love using that against enemies. I don't remember seeing this in the previews for the game. Um, I know that I said earlier that you've probably seen uh, episodes of this on other channels, and I won't lie, I give credit where credit is due. Um, the way I found out about this game was by watching uh, PlayStation Network on YouTube. They played it um, during the beta, before it was even released to the pu uh, public. So if you want to check out a cool channel for all the fun stuff on PlayStation, there's always that, I suppose. Um, because that's awesome, and that's how I found out about this jewel. And it looks really awesome. Giant fighting robots. It's been a while since we had a game that would really bring that back. Oh, neat. I think I misused that first item, because I never pressed the attack button with it. All I did was just basically throw it back. Oh my goodness, it's the Buster Sword. A Buster Sword, at least. Okay, it's two-handed. I can only wield it with two hands. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the that's the first item. What, let's see what it actually does, now that I know how to use items. You throw? Oh, and it, 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 uh, it, 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 um, it, what's the word I'm looking for? It attaches itself. So it's probably like a sticky bomb. This looks like a Tommy gun. It is. Well, a type of gun. It's like a, um, machine gun. M16! Nice design on that. Drop that. It's out of ammo. Wait! Battery! Excellent. There's got to be something more useful for that. What the heck? Uh, apparently that's my special. Oh my god, it's a cartridge! It's a Nintendo cartridge! I'm a spaceship! Pew 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 Oh, that's so cool! That's my special! i become this little robot thing! Oh, I'm so glad I decided to play this today. Oh man, why is my face so red? <laughs> that is so cool! <gasps> that is the coolest little thing ever. Can I pick that back up now? Apparently not. Okay, we've got to try all these weapons. This is awesome. So does this tutorial thing just go on forever then? Until I've until I've had my fill. And obviously, if it's not two-handed, your other hand will punch. Okay, let's find two one-handed weapons and see if we can dual wield. Wait, that was already one-handed. That was already one one-handed weapon. Let's find one more. Uh, you are two-handed. What is this? Some form of shield. Yep, eh, we can do a wield. <laughs> okay, so I can block, but I can't attack at the same time. I'm not blocking, and then I'm attacking. I'm going through buildings now. Awesome. I want to find another one of those boost things so I can become a spaceship again. That was awesome. Okay, so I'm overheating. So, to drop items is both of the D-pads for each respective item? Yes. Both of the D-pads for each respective item. And I guess that doesn't trigger unless an enemy goes over it. So it's got to be some sort of a mine, as well as this. This is probably also a mine. Uh, the green one looks like it deals more damage against an enemy's energy. And this one looks like it's more of a physical type mine, just because it's not glowing. But then again, what do I know? <laughs> I'm basing this literally off of every game I've ever played that was even slightly similar. So I'm drawing from as much knowledge as I possibly can, which is like like the most desperate thing you could possibly do is just to draw from whatever you could possibly think of. Okay, we know that's uh we know that's one-handed or two-handed. I just want to find another one-handed sword. Okay, there, there, of course, duh. I just had it. Yes! Haha, <laughs> dual wield! I'm Florentine now! Just like an amp guard! <laughs> oh, and I overheat so fast doing that. Okay, so, questions. Uh, can I upgrade my mech? Can I upgrade... Is that a frying pan? <laughs> so can I upgrade him and uh, give him the ability to, you know, not overheat so fast? Okay. Well, he's not overheating too fast. You just have to, have to watch the energy that you use. Bam! Okay, that's an automatic overheat, so throw both of those away. Frying pan of death. Whap, 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 wait, no, ultimate combo. Frying pan shield. Dun, 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 battle time. Okay, show me another one of those batteries. I really need to know how to use my special. 
random items seem to pop up whenever you take the, the items before. So I'm just gonna take all of the items and let random stuff pop up. Oh, wait, yeah. Oh, there's a Gatling gun! That's a traditional Gatling gun. I was wondering, I pressed the button and nothing happened. So... God, that's so cool. There's a new thing. Okay, so now you know you're out of energy. You drop that, you come over here. Oh, man, I think it got replaced with something different. But it still looks pretty cool. Holy Christ! It's a laser gun. Well, at least you're getting to see all the weapons. Mew. Okay, so is that overheated, out of ammo, or is, uh, I guess it's just out of ammo. It doesn't go for very long, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, that one unfortunately got replaced. I'm trying to get up oh, another shield. This one looks more like a, more like a physical type damage, uh, physical blocking shield. Like it blocks physical attacks better than, um, energy attacks. This one looks like it blocks energy attacks better. And to answer your question, no, I apparently cannot equip two shields. Gimme, 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 gimme. Is that the special? I want to become a spaceship again. Don't make it go away. What is it? What? Whoa. What is this? It looks like some sort of canister. It's a can of soda, isn't it? Nope, it looks like a grenade. I jump up here, I pull the pin, and I throw. And it does what? Woo! That. Anything else? Anything else? Okay, there's a new thing here that I haven't tried out. I'm, I'm basically, I'm going to have to like, oh wow. I'm going to have to put a spoiler alert uh, for this video because I am basically spoiling almost all of the weapons in the entire game. And I'm, whoa! Oh sweet, you can combine each weapon, um, you know, with your special attacks to make something new. Gimme, 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 what is that? What, what, oh, hello. Oh, it's another grenade, isn't it? Bam! I'm not sure if that's a flash grenade or a shrapnel grenade. And what does this do? Whoa! Hello! I can hold this as long as I want. Oh, okay. So is that what happens with every item? Oh, drop it. Drop it. Let's go see what this is. <laughs> I'm just literally checking out every weapon I see. Whoa! There's the blaster again. Okay, so now that I've got the controls down, it's time to go into at least one NPC match before I end the episode. And I just love this little robot because I mean he's he just speaks to me on a, like like a character level, you know. I mean this is almost verbatim. Well, no, it's not. It's not very similar to my character from the actual, like, uh, channel icon, but darn it, I can't get up there. Oh, apparently, yes, I can. Nope, uh, up to the top, come on. Nope, not quite. Okay, let the energy come back all the way. There we go. And nope, nothing. Okay, so I think we're good here. Uh, I don't know about that special. I hope I get to do the chant. <laughs> he twitches. I hope I get the chance to do that again, but let's find out what it's like to fight an enemy real quick, like, uh, egg, escape, escape, start, okay, resume, special moves, ah, that's how you find out your special moves and controls. Well, we're going to find that out, or at least I'm going to find that out as I go along, because that's the way I like to do things. But in my defense, I did do the tutorial, and as you all well know, most gamers don't do the tutorial. <laughs> I actually liked it though, because it, it just basically set you down an arena and let you do whatever the heck you wanted. Now I've got a pretty good, or at least I feel like I have a pretty good grasp on the controls. Battle against monsters in mechs and single player co-op modes. Arcade. Loading save data. <gasps> story! There's a story! See the world from the Xenotype invasion, I think it said. You know who we're playing as. Get my boy Robo over here. <laughs> Vintage. <laughs> Robo, a.k.a. Vintage, is ready. Boop! Nice. Dude, this is gonna be awesome. Missions. Japan, story mission one. Very easy. Uh, let's put it on normal. How do I put it on normal? Uh, missions. Wait, no, no, don't start yet. Don't start yet. No, B. B for back. Mech Bay. 
I can do things. Install mods. Armory. Oh, weapons. Systems. Save and exit. Oh, oh I gotta remember to save, apparently. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. System. Save. I don't want to exit, though. Okay, what is this? Select mission. I, I only have the one. Okay, so it does go back there. I, I couldn't see because of my uh, face cam. Mech Bay. Empty slot. Let's see what we got. Nothing! Because I haven't done a mission yet to pick anything up. Okay. Uh, the weapons I apparently have to start out with is beam sword and shield, perhaps? Weapon loadout. Weapon gallery. Okay, those are in my gallery. I want to put them in my loadout. Wait. It looks like I have them. Beam sword, shield. But I've got a couple of empty slots. What can I put there? Select a weapon to place here. Uh, another beam sword. Oh, and that just empties that slot. Okay, so that's... There's no point to that. Beam sword and shield. Okay, so that's that's all I have. That's fine. That's fine. Missions. Let's do it. Uh, now, I don't think I'm able to actually... It's just telling me that the mission is very easy. I don't think I'm ready to... I don't think I'm able to alter it to turn it to normal. If I am, let me know in the comment section. Please and thank you. But for now, we shall be playing as Vintage, or as I will call him, Robo, in Japan. I hope it's okay if I show the cutscenes. <laughs> this is Walter Fox, CDN Global News. It has been more than two months since the first of these giant monsters appeared, wreaking havoc across the globe. As the United Defense Forces have struggled to respond to these so-called Xenotypes, we are left with a host of questions. What are these monsters? Where did they come from? And who is going to stop them? Well, tonight, a CDN exclusive, one of these questions will be answered. We are coming to you live from the evacuated city streets of Tokyo, where it appears that Max, the popular Mech Battle League, is preparing to take the monsters head on. Okay, I guess I'm Max. Maximum destruction. Oh god, I'm so lame. <laughs> twitch, tw twitch, twitch. Fucking, oh. Huh? They're not as big as I expected. Oh wait, no. Uh, hmm, what's, what's, a, what's a good voice for him? He's like, kind of like in a robot thing. He's like, hmm, there. <laughs> Let's, hmm. Beep boop, beep boop. Freaking, I don't know what voice to give him. Hmm. Hmm, they are not as big as I expected. Oh well, this should still be fun. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna just destroy. Okay, watch it, watch it, watch it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I want to get a weapon real quick, like. Oh, no. Yes. Okay. hi -ya! Holy crud, that was awesome. Okay. Okay, there's a couple more coming out. Bang. Let's make sure I don't overheat. Down and down and now. Causing maximum destruction. Water apparently doesn't hurt me. Weapon! Teleport! Do the teleporting thing! Bang! Oh, no! Don't you hit me! I want that weapon! Yeah! Ow! <laughs> this is on very easy. I need to up my game. Oh! <laughs> Knock to the side. Oh, God! Come on now. I can't I can't let them dishonor me like this. It's because I'm surrounded. That's really causing me a lot of problems. Oh, oh, he interrupted it. He interrupted it. Okay, I need to get more distance. There we go. Watch it. Oh, jump over him. Oh, not bad. Watch it. Okay, that was his attack. Boom! Must achievement unlocked. We want you. <laughs> Mavis. <laughs> he looks like freaking. Um, uh, gosh, I'm gonna give him like an uh, an old World War II German soldier. Uh, I I don't know. He 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 reminds me so much of. Um, gosh. Oh well, let me think. Hmm, Max, this is General Mavis. Do you copy? <laughs> I I don't know what to voice to give Max. I don't know. Oh no, I knew the military would come for me someday. Nonsense. I'm the strike commander of the UDF. <laughs> like, I can't do... I, don't, I, only like, I only like the announcer voices. The other ones are so cheesy. I can't. 
Uh, I'm the strike commander of the UDF ground forces. That was some impressive work you did there. Not too many pilots could take on that many exo xenotypes at once. How would you like a job? So you're not here to arrest me? Though I'm sure... So you're not here to arrest me? Though I'm not sure a job is any better. <laughs> We're in a fight for our lives, soldier. And I think you have the talent to make a real difference. I'm not asking you to fight for your king or for king or country. I just want you I just want you to remind these damn monsters who the most dangerous species on the planet is. Do we have a deal? Hmm, sure, I guess. I have nothing to better do at the moment. Fantastic. Skylift is en route to your location. Welcome to the rapid response team, soldier. Yay! <laughs> That's his victory screen. That's great. It is burning up hot in here, by the way. That's why I'm so red. New mod collected. Yay. On death, revive with 5% health. Unshakable will 1. Nice. I will put that in empty slot. Install. Yay! I like how easy that is. Cosmetic unlocked. Saving user profile. Reward. Maya. Red. Common. Saving and returning to HQ. Oh, thank God it auto-saves. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, one more and then we'll call it. The Mech Battle League's headquarters. I thought we're supposed to be on break of the... Learn how to read, Johnson! The Mech Battle League's headquarters. I thought we're supposed to be on break because of the crisis. You're in a military base now, soldier. There's nothing faster than the League's low orbit command center for rapid mech deployment around the globe. This on conjunct will finally get some real good... We'll finally do some real good in the world. Hey, I contributed a lot of advanced tech to this place. You will contribute swift death from above from now on. We're attempting to triangulate the location of the main horde as we speak, but it will take around 10 days to pinpoint the exact location. I mean, doesn't he look like, with those spectacles, doesn't he look like a guy that would be like, Yes, I will destroy you, Dr. Venture. He just reminds me kind of like somebody that worked for the Monarch, or would work for the Monarch. Um, or, uh, Dr. Loveless from, um, To Love the Bomb, if you've ever seen that movie or read the book. Yeah, he, he definitely makes me think of him. But I don't think I can do a Loveless voice. Uh, it wasn't that... No, Dr. Strangelove. I'm an idiot. Loveless was from, um, Wild Wild West. Dr. Strangelove was from the movie, uh, called Dr. Strangelove or... How We Learned to Love the Bomb. You'll have to look it up. I, I, it's, it's great. It's the best movie ever. Good timing. I thought I was going to be late to my stream. <laughs> Not so fast, soldier. There are smaller herds of exotypes, xenotypes attacking cities all around the world. Your, st your stream can wait. Something about xenotypes. Isn't that taken from something else? I've heard that before. Xenotypes. That's from AVP, isn't it? No, eh, no, they were xenomorphs. Skylar would know. I'm stupid, by the way. I'm sorry. You're right, okay? You're right, okay. Which locations have Wi-Fi, at least? I'll pull up the latest distress signals. Respond to as many as you can. He does not give a crap about Max's, like, agenda. Which one's got Wi-Fi? You're going to fight. United States? Easy, easy, very easy, 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 very easy. Well, I guess we'll stick it to very easy for a little while. And then I can do week one of day five. Time until Horde is located, 10 days. So what exactly does that mean? Does that mean, like, there's going to be, like, an urgent mission that I have to go on in 10 days? Okay. I'm down. Let's do it. Max, my sensors show multiple enemies in the area. Be careful. I'm, I'm guessing because I can't see because my freaking face cam is always on the wrong side. It's always in the way. But I still love it anyway, because it's my face cam. Interesting. Oh, they have lob attacks. Dude, that is so cool. I bet there are so many Let's Plays of this game right going on right now. And I'm just glad to be a part of it. Okay, so should I try to fight or find a weapon first? And by the way, I apparently destroy everything. Okay, let's charge up a kick. Let's release it because... Oh, okay. Uh, it can't hit me. I, I'm trying to teleport through their attacks. It's not working! Oh. Dude, these guys, okay. Mm, sorry. Throat sore. They're 
only take two hits to kill, which is awesome. Because what the heck is this? Can I gather it? Oh, sweet Jiminy! Apparently those are traps. Uh, or areas where weapons are about to land. <gasps> dual wield! Dual wield, dual wield, dual wield. You have met your match. Oh, jeez. Freaking the other one. You miss! Hiya! I'm gonna wait for him to fire and then charge up a kick. Oh! It didn't work. Oh, gotta aim! Oh no! Ah! Building was in the way! Okay, that's awesome that that's a dynamic entry, but I gotta get closer with that. Mission fails and oh no! Zap, zap, zap! Who's next? Oh no! I've only got 50 seconds! You didn't let me know there was a time limit for Christ's sakes, I'm overheating. Overheating is going down. There's a new weapon coming down right there. What is it? It's apparently just a bunch of swords. Oh god. Okay, uh, throwing them actually deals damage as well. 30 seconds left. You miss. Ah, yeah. Oh no, 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 you miss. Oh, screw you. 22 seconds. Please be the last enemy. Uh, watch out for that. That'll apparently deal damage. Where's the next enemies? Oh, okay. I'm not gonna fail the mission, apparently. Nope. Next wave in nine seconds. They're calling for reinforcements. Okay. So it's it's telling me when the next mission is going to fail. Holy crap, that was awesome. It tells me when... Oh, hey, that's a shield up there. Mission fails in a minute and 30 seconds. So you fail the mission after a certain amount of time. But if you defeat another wave of enemies, or if you keep ahead in terms of the waves of enemies. Oh, okay. Achievement. They're everywhere. Mission fails in one minute. I think I might just want to stick to... Hey, come, come, get back over here. Oh, no, you miss. I think I might just want to stick to double swords because I need that additional damage in order to keep up with the waves before the mission fails. Did I do it? I did it! We did it! I gotta get way better at this game. That was very easy and I took all that damage? Are you kidding me? I need to really... need to up my... I need to tighten up, as they say at work. Uh, weapon pack and luck. Blaster, shotgun, sawn off. Uzi. Holy crap, that is awesome. I got all that at once? And a cosmetic. But I don't know who it was for. Uh, Shifu, yellow, common. So are all the cosmetics always for the character that you're playing, or are they for someone different? So many questions. So many answers. Mm, pilot. Can I can I make his voice like, uh, oh, I know. How about uh, Captain Mayuri uh, from Bleach? Hang on, what was that? Interesting. <laughs> oh, God. Pilot. <laughs> he doesn't seem like that. I don't know. Hmm, interesting. Or pilot. I'd like to enter. Oh, I know Dr. Evil. What about Dr. Evil? Oh, dude. Let's see. How did he do that? Um, um, one million dollars. Mini me. <laughs> okay. Hmm, pilot. I'd like to introduce you to our new research lead. Lead, Dr. Fujiwara. She's transferred here from our research and development department to help keep our mechs around the globe combat ready. I know how awful that is, but it's perfect for him. You have to give me that. It's perfect. It fits him perfect. I can't. I have to. He's, he's, he's Dr. Evil. Uh, now, my impersonation of Dr. Evil, which obviously isn't going to be perfect, but hey. I, I heard that, you know, people like it when you put yourself into the characters, you know. Be a part of the experience or whatever. I, I like it. Heck, I like it. I learned that from D&D, though. Or Pathfinder. And Werewolf. Um, Werewolf the Apocalypse. I'm, I'm, I'm getting distracted. <clears throat> oh, that, that's, that's Mavis. So, so this is someone else. I, I, don't, I don't see their picture that, yet. Doctor, this is... Oh, no, no. That's her. <clears throat> God, my throat. I need water. Always keep water. Ah! 
I know you. You were the first to build a, uh, build a mech and one of the founders of the League. Is it true you're secretly an AI that went rogue after Y2K? God, that's, that's really reaching way back there. Oh yeah, the Iron Lady started that whole AI rumor so unoriginal. The Iron Lady? Huh, she was my favorite. Her catchphrase was the best. Her catchphrase was the best. Steal yourself or I will. <laughs> uh, I get it. She's uh, gonna punch you with a giant mech or something. Oh, wait, no, her name was Iron Lady, so steal yourself or like punch and then steal. That's that's corny. <laughs> mm. Ahem. Perhaps the two of you can talk about all these catchphrases at a more appropriate time. <laughs> I have to do the thing. I love doing the thing. Uh, uh, fine. No need to be such a grouch. Such a grouch? Sir, was there anything else, Doctor? No, sir. Oh, such a grouch, sir. <laughs> like, that's Mr. Grouch to you. I won't do the thing anymore, like the freaking pinky things. <laughs> Good. As I was saying, Max, if you're ever looking for upgrades, go see Dr. Fujiwara in the mech bay. She'll help you out. Just remember, you better perform. The more resources you'll receive, oh, the better you perform, the more resources you'll receive for upgrades. With all the new mechs that you that have joined the fight recently, this seems to be the best way to allocate resources. Okay, now, see, when I don't do the thing, he stops sounding like Dr. Evil. Uh, freaking mini-me. <laughs> I have to do mini-me to freaking, like, get myself back in the voice. God, it's so hot in here. Proceed to your next mission when ready. Yeah, I started. it started to drift off. It started to drift off. Oh, man, this seems like it's going to be really fun. I'm going to enjoy playing this on the channel, I hope. Um, I already enjoy it pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope you enjoy watching the videos. I certainly enjoy making them. That's way more than all the time I have left for today. Um, if you have any helpful suggestions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, take it easy, my friends.